Our objectives in this lesson are the following. Define the critical values using the given level of significance. Construct null and alternative hypothesis and determine the appropriate type of test. And illustrate and identify the rejection region under the normal curve. Let's have a quick activity. Locate my tail. In deciding whether to reject or not the null hypothesis, it is important that we familiarize ourselves in determining the type of test. From this word pool, let us put these words to their proper category. The first one, change, it does not imply any direction, so this is two-tailed. Better is right-tailed. Less is left-tailed. Deteriorates is also left-tailed, as well as shortened. Not equal is two-tailed. Improved is right-tailed. Worsened is left-tailed. Boost is right-tailed. Differs is two-tailed. Raise or increase is right-tailed. Affects is two-tailed. You do not know if it is positively or negatively. Above is right-tailed. Decline is left-tailed. And not the same is two-tailed. Now that you have been reviewed with the words associated with left-tailed, two-tailed, and right-tailed test, let's have another activity. Tailing my hypothesis. Formulate the null and alternative hypothesis, then tell the type of test and its direction. Number 1. The plant manager claims that less than 25% of the workers rendered overtime every day. We have here less than 25%. When we say less than, this is one-tailed, and this goes to our alternative hypothesis. So we have H sub 1, P is less than 0.25. So our null hypothesis will be H sub 0, P is equal to 0 0.25. Since this uses less than, this is one-tailed test, particularly left-tailed. Let's have another one. The percentage of people who want to travel than to save money is different from what was known to be 70%. What was known to be will be our population proportion. This will be our null hypothesis, H sub 0, P is equal to 0 0.70. The key word here is different. This will be our alternative hypothesis, H sub 1, P is not equal to 0 0.70. Since this is not equal to, this is a two-tailed test. Last one. COVID breakthrough is the term used to describe reinfection in people who have been vaccinated. The study says 0.02% chance of breakthrough infection, but you suspect it is greater than this. It says here, its study says 0.02%. This will be our null hypothesis. H sub 0, P is equal to 0 0.0002. Just move the decimal point two places going to the left. Our alternative hypothesis, the key word here is greater than. So H sub 1, P is greater than 0 0.0002. Since this is greater than, this is one-tailed test, particularly right-tailed. How do we set up the region of rejection? We have to consider two things. One is the critical value, denoted by Z tab. Why Z tab? Because the values come from the Z table. I hope you remember this. The critical value separates the region of rejection from the non-rejection region. Another thing to consider is the level of significance, denoted by alpha. It is the degree of significance in which we reject or fail to reject the null hypothesis. These are the common values of statistical significance. Once again, the region of rejection is a range of values such that if the test statistic falls into that range, we decide to reject the null hypothesis in favor of the alternative hypothesis. 
This is a figure for a left tail test. This is for a right tail test. And this one is for a two tail test. The shaded regions are what we call the region of rejection. The unshaded region is the non rejection region. And the blue lines here are what we call the critical values. The region of rejection is based on the level of significance that is denoted once again by alpha for left tailed or right tailed test and alpha over 2 for two tailed test. Let's have another activity. Illustrate me. Determine the critical value and sketch the rejection region of the following. Number 1, we have here H sub 1, P is greater than 0 0.68 with alpha equal to 0 0.10. To determine the critical value, we need our Z critical values. This is right tailed with 0 0.10 level of significance. Therefore, our Z tab is 1.28. Now let us sketch the curve. Let us locate 1.28. It is somewhere here. Let us label it and let us shade the right tail. Let's have another one. H sub 1, P is not equal to 0 0.25 with alpha equals 0 0.05. Again, our Z critical values not equal to, so this is a two tail test. At 0.05 level of significance, our Z tab is positive and negative 1.96. Let us sketch the curve. Locate positive 1.96, that is right before 2. Let us label it. Negative 1.96 is somewhere here, right before negative 2. Label it. And let us shade the tails of the curve. Last one. This time we have P is less than 0 0.25 with alpha equals 0 0.01. Again, our Z critical values. This is left tailed at 0 0.01. So our Z tab is negative 2.33. Let us sketch the curve. Negative 2.33 somewhere here. Let's label it and let us shade the left tail. Now let us do extra challenge. Read and analyze. Supply the data being asked and sketch the rejection region. A manager from an internet service provider claims that at least 85% of their 10,000 customers are satisfied with the service they provide. 500 customers were randomly selected and 78% were strongly satisfied. Test the manager's claim at 0.05 significance level. So we have here two percentages, 85% and 78%. However, this 78% comes from the 500 customers that were randomly selected, meaning this is a data from the sample. And remember, a hypothesis is a data that pertains to the population. So we're not going to use the 78%, but the 85%. And our keyword here is at least. When we say at least, it is greater than or equal to. And that goes to our null hypothesis. H sub 0, P is greater than or equal to 0 0.85. The complement of greater than is less than, and that will be our alternative hypothesis. The level of significance is given 0 0.05. The type of test, since this is less than, so this is one-tailed test, particularly left-tailed. The critical value, let's recall our table. Left-tailed at 0 0.05. Our Z tab is negative 1.645. Before we indicate the rejection region, let us sketch the curve. Locate negative 1.645. It is somewhere here. Let us label it. And let us shade the left tail. Now we can clearly see the rejection region. And that is Z is less than or equal to negative 1.645. For the summary, here are the things that we discussed in this lesson. 
take time to understand this. Now it is time to check your understanding. Pause this video for more time. Let us answer. Research from Kaltura revealed that 90% of teachers see video playing a critical role in education. You ask 50 teachers from your school and 45 of them said they are using videos in their classes. Determine a 0.10 level of significance if this is significantly different from the research. So first, let us identify our null hypothesis. And we have here, research from Kaltura revealed that 90%, this will be our population proportion. H sub 0, P is equal to 0 0.90. And our keyword here is different. So our alternative hypothesis will be H sub 1, P is not equal to 0 0.90. The level of significance is given, and that is 0 0.10. The type of test, since this is not equal to, so this is a two-tailed test. For the critical value, let's recall our critical Z values. This is two-tailed at 0 0.10 level of significance, so our Z tab is positive and negative 1.645. Let us sketch the curve. Positive 1.645 is somewhere here. Let us label it. And negative 1.645 is somewhere here and label that. Now let us shade the tails of the curve. We can now clearly see the region of rejection. And that is Z is less than or equal to negative 1.645. And Z is greater than or equal to positive 1.645. Gets? Our next lesson is computing test statistic value involving population proportions.